Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks. Uh, today, my second ever virtual Dr. Tom Talk. And I am going to be talking with the help of the biodigital human software about ACL tears. Before we get into that, a little recap of knee anatomy. So I'm showing you the lower limb here. Here you've got the pelvis, we just zoomed out. Here you've got the thigh bone or the, fem or the femur. Here you've got the tibia or the shin bone, and we'll zoom into the knee, and here you've got the patella, kneecap. And then you have these ligaments. Ligaments are connective tissue structures that join bone to bone, as opposed to tendons which join bone to muscle. And you have four of these stabilizing joints, uh, sta stabilizing uh, ligaments in the knee. Uh, you've got the MCL, the medial collateral ligament, You've got the LCL, the lateral collateral ligament. I'm just clicking on these and you can see uh, their names as you click on things. And then you've got the ones uh, at the back of the knee, if you zoom around to the back. So I've just zoomed around to the back here. These are the cruciate ligaments. And here you've got the PCL, the posterior cruciate ligament, and the ACL, which we're gonna be focusing on today. And they're called cruciate ligaments because they're shaped kind of like in a cross, as you see here, cruciate, crucifixion. That's where you get the cross from. So what do these ligaments do, these anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments do? Well, if I go and use the whiteboard function right here, I can show you uh, they prevent the knee from moving too much in these directions. So forwards, backwards, and also rotational. That's what they're there to do. So how do they get injured? Well, if we move around to the injured ligament right here. This is the ACL. You can see it's torn uh, in the middle. That's typically where uh, it gets torn. Maybe you're playing in a sport and you decelerate very quickly. That's often how you can get this kind of isolated type of injury or you pivot uh, and so on. But there's something called the unhappy triad, which is a specific type of injury where you get injuries to three different structures within the knee. I just quickly want to show you, again, using the whiteboard feature, how this happens. So this is your right knee. You're looking at the back. Let's say you plant your right foot. So your right foot is stationary. But then someone, let's say you're playing basketball, someone else's knee comes into the side of your knee. So this is the lateral side of your knee in this direction. So that creates a lot of force uh, that goes into the knee in this direction. And that can cause what's called this unhappy triad or the terrible triad which is injury to, I'm gonna change this to a red color for injury, your ACL, your medial meniscus right here, so these are the shock absorbers of the knee, but also to the medial collateral ligament right here. That's called the unhappy triad. So how do you know if you've got an ACL injury? Well, often people know straight away there's something wrong with their knee because there's pain, there uh, may be some swelling, you may not be able to continue doing what you were doing, the sport. You may not be able to walk properly. Um, but a test that a doctor or a physical therapist can do is called the anterior draw test. So I'm just going to rotate the knee around here. And a physical therapist or a doctor may manipulate your knee to see if there's extra laxity in it. So what they do is, again, I'm opening the whiteboard function, is they'll take your knee and they'll move it the lower part, the lower bone here, so the tibia, they'll move it in this direction, anteriorly forward, and it's called the anterior draw test. If there's extra laxity, so this moves more than it should, it may mean that you have damage to the ACL, the ACL right here, because that's meant to hold your knee, uh, this, this bone in place within the knee joint, so it doesn't move forwards too much. So that's the anterior draw test. Of course, you can also get an X-ray, MRI, ultrasound, and it may show up in that treatment. Uh, treatment involves obviously resting, uh, or RICE is the, is the acronym that's, that's often used, the mnemonic that's, new, that's used for uh, rest, ice, compression, elevation. That's what we use for soft tissue injuries. Um, but for this, uh, intense physical therapy will obviously be helpful. And then finally, uh, you may have to get surgery. Surgery involves typically replacing uh, the ligament uh, you can replace it with a cadaveric uh, donor of, of an actual, an, another ligament from another human being, or you can have uh, an autograft, so something from yourself, whether it's a ligament 
or a tendon that's used to replace this ACL. Those are the main points on ACL tear. That is Dr. Tom Talks. If you want to look at this yourself and play around with a 3D interactive model just like I did, go to human.biodigital.com. This is Dr. Tom Talks, and this was ACL Repair.